Welcome back to my very first ongoing let's play of oh, the very first Siberia game at GOG version and enhanced and all that good stuff. We are uh, still trying to get this old officer to give us a legitimate way out of Barokshta. And uh, yeah, before we get him to do that, I just want to say that if you are enjoying the Let's play or the channel. I would love if you dropped a sub or a like. Thank you very much. So we know that he is looking at something that he calls a scout. This thing. Can we now do something here? Oh wait. How strange! I can't see a Cossack horseman at all. There's just a dead tree in the middle of an empty plain. That poor captain must have really bad eyesight. Ah. But he's been staring at this tree stump for years. It's kind of sad. Okay, now. Let's see if we can... Get him to... Oh, we didn't we use all of it okay we can't pick it up colonel sir captain miss but you have the air of a great officer uh, you flatter me miss unfortunately i'm afraid that we frontier soldiers are often forgotten by the military administration ah oh, there's no justice i sympathize with you captain let us forget our worries for a moment, and have a little drink together, in the name of friendship. Uh, it would be my pleasure, miss, but the regulations strictly forbid it. Come on. A little glass of wine never hurt anybody, and nobody need know. Wine, miss? You are putting me in a very delicate situation. Don't deny yourself, Captain. Just a little glass. I assure you, it is excellent. Well... Perhaps just a drop. Here's your glass. To your good health, Captain. And to yours, Miss. It's been a long time since I've drunk wine in such pleasant company. I admit, it is excellent. Isn't it? You wouldn't think it came from Barikstadt. It is made from the Amazon Forest Sauvignon grape that has been miraculously conserved and cultivated in the station garden. Well, well, well. The university authorities kept that one to themselves. You know, Captain, it is essential that I continue my journey eastwards. Please, don't even think about it. As I've said, it's extremely dangerous. The enemy is spying on us. Perhaps your Cossack horseman isn't quite what you thought. Perhaps it's just a dead tree twisted into a strange shape. You should take another look. You never know. Go on, Captain. Give it a try. So be it. I will make this concession to the fairer sex, miss. But it does seem to be quite ridiculous. I wouldn't say that. Incredible. How is this possible? By what strange magic? How could I have been so wrong for so long? The enemy was only a tree. I'm so ashamed. It's not that bad, Captain. It's only human to make mistakes, after all. A tree. Nothing but a dead tree. Pull yourself together, Captain. It's okay. And now I suppose there's nothing stopping you from issuing me a visa? Yes, of course. There is no more danger. All these years. And now the Cossack has gone. 
There is nothing left to watch. Captain, you should be delighted. From now on, you don't have to stay pinned to your watchtower. Travel can start up again normally. You will be able to resume your regular duties like issuing entrance and exit visas. You are right. I will sign you a visa to cross the wall frontier immediately. A thousand apologies. Here, miss. He had one ready to go. Authorization to cross the border. This document authorized the holder with, uh, with belongings to pass through the border wall gate. Captain Malatesta, gate commander. Malatesta. Warning, beyond the ramparts, conditions for journeys into the eastern territories are filled with uncertainty and reputed to be hazardous. As a consequence, the wall authorities cannot guarantee the physical safety of the traveler and decline all responsibility in the event of an accident. incident. Thank you, Captain. And keep your eyes open. <sighs> Miss, if we could keep this between ourselves, please. For the sake of my honor, you understand? You have my promise, Captain. He should actually have a supply of enhancer for his eyes, so it doesn't happen again. I think we're actually done here. So, uh, let's leave. I feel kind of sad for him. He's a good guy. A bit zealous, perhaps, but, you know, means well. Still locked. It probably is. No point, it's locked. Wait, wait, wait. That's true. He's hanging out in the ticket booth. Can we not use that? Where is it? Here is the visa. I hope it's regulation, my dear Oscar. Hmm? Hmm. It is regulation. Here is your ticket. How is Oscar authorized to give away tickets? That doesn't really make any sense. Train ticket for the Mechanical Railway Department, Barakstad. Have a good journey, Kate Walker. So, can we go now? Indeed. We are already very late, Kate Walker. <sighs> I just have to shake real quick. Did he lock after he left? He probably did, because he's a stickler for rules, but you know. Yeah. No point. It's locked. Now then. Your ticket, please. You know, Oscar, you might not think so, but I also know a thing or two about procedure. And that's one bit of procedure I'm not going to forget about easily. As you wish, Kate Walker. 
Yes, for once we're going to do things as I wish. Here you go, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. Now, please return to your seat, Kate Walker. Yes, Oscar. Immediately, Oscar. That looked very much like a communist thing. So I guess we are in Russia proper now. Also, where is Oscar? Not there. Let's see if he's on the other side. There is no other side. Okay, let's check the interior of the train before heading out. No point weighing myself down. All right, we're still not interested in our own stuff. Okay, so he must be outside somewhere. We can go there, we can go there. So let's go. Kate Walker! Kate Walker! Oscar, what's going on? Why has the train stopped? Where are we? The springs of the train are unwound again, Kate Walker. As for the question pertaining to our geographical location, I really haven't the slightest idea. Well, we'd better get looking for a winding machine, my dear Oscar. I hope that this place actually has one. The air here is so polluted that I could not possibly risk leaving the locomotive. My joints might corrode irreparably. Right. Let's see. Okay, let's try looking on the bright side here. I need to stretch my legs. Is there something wrong, Kate Walker? Are you uncomfortable? Are the passenger facilities on this train substandard? I shall draw up a formal complaint form for you immediately. No, Oscar, everything's fine, I assure you. A little walk will do me good, that's all. Gosh, it's really gloomy here. I wonder where on earth I'm going to find a winding machine. I have total confidence in you, Kate Walker. 
You are, after all, a brave and resourceful woman. Yeah, right. Oscar, you couldn't make a little effort for just this once. If we both went looking for the winding machine, the two of us together might find it quicker. You are in all probability correct, Kate Walker. But the high level of heavy metal miasma that pollutes the atmosphere could cause havoc to my wheelwork. Let's hope Hans Varlberg once lived here as well. Maybe he planned for his locomotive's unplanned stop and installed a winding machine as well. Otherwise, it's not looking great for the rest of the journey. Do not forget that Hans Vorlberg is a genius in the true sense of the word. But is he a genius with a sense of forward planning? We will find that out when we find the winding machine. My god, Oscar. What would I do without you? What? We just keep stopping. When will we ever get to the end of this journey? Simply wind up the spring and we can set off immediately. From your mouth to God's ears. See you soon, Oscar. I shall stay right here, Kate Walker. Yes, unfortunately, that's exactly what he will do. So he always finds a reason for him not to be able to help out. I mean, I can see why. It's Kate's journey, after all. Is that dynamite or explosives or something like that? This looks like a very heavy industrial type of place. Hello? Hello? Kate? It's Dan. Can you hear me? Da Dan, is that you? I can't hear you so good. Dan? Hey, can you give me a talk? It's about the last conversation. I are you still mad at me? Come on, this is, it's important. Dan, you're breaking up. I'll try and call you when I get out of this mine. You Kate? Come on, what's happening? Listen, we've got to talk. Look, the line's just getting worse and worse. I'm hanging up. Yeah. See you later, Dan. Not gonna miss you. Oh, we have something there, and... Well, actually, we have something there. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Oh, this thing's jammed. Okay, we need, like, a battery or something, maybe? Also, where are we? You know, essential information. You're definitely in a very dark sort of tunnel system. It's too dark to continue. I might lose my way. Okay, so we are not going in here in a hurry. Although that's something. That looks like a ventilation duct. We have nothing, absolutely nothing that we need. So that's the only way we can go in this direction as of now. I mean, eventually we probably need to find both a light source and a battery, I think. Let's continue in this direction instead. Can you go in here? That door is locked. I've got to find another way around. Also, there's an ominous red light that usually means, you know, bad things. 
continue this way. Down the platform we go. Uh, I don't think we can go any other way than up the ladder here. Oh, hello. Ah. Huh. So that can be kind of moved or something? Also, that's quite the thing. Nothing more to take here. I'm th That might be something for the mine. Oh, hello. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. That's as far as that will go. And we can leave. Oh wait, no. Probably not that easy, but... I wonder if we need to... Uh... No, let's actually see if we can... Let's shift a little bit to the side, see if there's anything that we steal. I can't go that way. Okay, so we need to get this back into position. gonna see if we can do this or if it was just a no we can I was thinking that it had to be something because it stopped halfway So we can uh, eventually do something here, but not right now. But we cannot... No, I don't think we can do anything aside from that. Up we go. Or can we go down? No, we cannot. Okay, up we go. You have to remember that we have a, a pit stop halfway down the tracks where we can look into a room. Hey, 
You there! Of course there's a thief. What did it take? And also, why did Oscar not stop him? It's probably locked still. That door is locked. Yeah. I've got to find another way around. We all know that we have to eventually find our way through the mines. Oh, yes. Yes? Kate, can you hear me this time? Yes, I can hear you just perfectly, Dan, but I can't talk to you now. I'm in a real hurry. I wanted to say sorry. I know I wasn't very understanding last time. I've been feeling a bit bad about it. Okay, you're a real sweetheart, but I've got to leave you now. I'm not angry with you, so don't worry. I've just got to catch up to someone, and quick. But Kate! Kate! This is really important! I'll call you back, Dan. I'm sorry. Was he faking it? Did he have a change of heart? Uh, he probably had some selfish reason. But maybe give him a little bit of the benefit of a doubt. But first, what did that pilfering person take from the train? took nothing in this room my god Oscar o Oscar talk to me <coughs> did he take his hands or is that what what the hell is going on here no point weighing myself down Are you okay? Why, it is absolutely inadmissible, intolerable, and, and, indescribable. I, I have been attacked. What do you mean you've been attacked? My hands. I no longer have them. They have been stolen. My God, you haven't got your hands. But who did this? What's going on here? We can be sure of one thing, Kate Walker. That this heinous crime was committed by a barbarian. A dysfunctional individual whose behavior lacks all finesse. Did you get a look at your attacker? Tell me exactly how it happened. I was standing here polishing up my metalwork. I was just thinking that with all the dust in the air, it would be a good idea to... Oscar. I was very busy, and I suddenly felt two powerful arms grab me from behind and tie me up before I had the chance to defend myself. I wanted to call out, but my attacker gagged me before I could emit the slightest sound. Then he dismantled my hands with a terrifying pair of pliers. It was horrible. I can believe it, my poor Oscar, but did you see him? He was a real barbarian, I tell you. He had bloodshot eyes, steel teeth, and brown scaly skin, and he emitted foul odors. He was a monster, Kate Walker, a real monster, and he had mm, a weapon. Oscar, please calm down. Everything's going to be all right. Right, I'm done. Take care of yourself, Oscar. Good luck, Kate Walker. And don't forget me. So we will definitely be talking to him at length, but I just realized that we will have to do that in the next part. Thank you for following along in the adventures in Siberia. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I would love it if you dropped a sub or a like and if I saw you again in the next part. But for now, it is time to say bye-bye.